I'm Amy Updike, an IFBB Bikini Pro and NLA for Her Athlete. Today we're going to be going through one of my glute, hamstring, and calf workouts that I like to do to really focus on muscle building for the back of my legs. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go do it. We're gonna start this workout by doing side steps with a resistance band around your knees, doing 20 steps each direction for two sets. During the side steps, you'll be in about a half of a squat, keeping your spine neutral and your chest up. You're going to be taking small steps from side to side to really keep the tension on your glutes. I like to warm up with the resistance band side steps to really warm up the outer glutes. Exercise number two is barbell hip thrusts using a resistance band around your knees. We are doing 12 to 15 reps for four sets. Hip thrusts are one of my favorite exercises for really isolating and building the glutes. While doing this exercise, you'll wanna focus on keeping your knees out versus letting your knees fall in and then thrusting all the way up with your hips and squeezing your glutes at the top of every rep. On the last rep of each set, I want you to hold and squeeze your glutes while holding the barbell up for as long as you can. Focus on really feeling your glutes squeezing and holding until they get fatigued. Our next exercise is drop set hamstring curls. We're gonna be doing eight to 10 reps of a heavier weight and then dropping it down to eight to 10 reps of a lighter weight for four sets. During this exercise, I want you to really focus on feeling the hamstrings working. Focus on slow and controlled movements, bringing the weight down slowly instead of dropping it down quickly. I like doing a drop set on this isolation exercise because I feel like it really helps to fatigue my hamstrings. The last exercise was very focused on the glutes as this one is very focused on the hamstrings. Moving on to sumo stance deadlifts. We're doing 12 to 15 reps and four sets. This exercise is really to help focus on the hamstrings and glutes together. It's also a great exercise for that glute hamstring tie-in. During these sumo stance deadlifts, you'll wanna focus on having a slight bend in your knee, keeping your core very tight and your lower back straight. Exercise five is going to be on the leg press. We'll start by doing a high and wide stance, supersetted with a narrow stance. You'll wanna do six reps of the wide and then six reps of the narrow, supersetting, and four sets. While doing the wide stance, you'll really notice that the inner thigh is being targeted. When you're doing the narrow stance, you'll notice that the outer thigh and back of your hamstrings are being targeted. This is a great exercise to really push yourself and to add a lot of intensity into your workout. Next up, we're gonna be doing box step ups. 20 reps each leg for four sets. I want you to do one leg 20 reps and then switch to the next leg for 20 reps. If you're looking to add a little bit of cardio into your weightlifting, this is a great exercise to really go fast and increase the intensity. This is a great exercise to do at the end of your workout as it really burns out the legs, all of the muscles that you've already been using. The next exercise we'll be doing is heavy kettlebell swings. For the first two sets, you're gonna be going to about 12 to 15 reps, and in your last one, go until failure. During this exercise, we're not trying to work our shoulders, but we're really trying to keep all of the focus on the glutes. So we're keeping our range of motion lower. Allow the kettlebell to swing down between your legs and really thrust up with your hips at the top of each rep. 
Since this is gonna be your last glute hamstring exercise for this workout, I really want you to focus on burning out and finishing hard with these kettlebell swings. And that's why I want you to go till failure. The last exercise of this workout is going to be standing calf press. You're gonna be doing 12 to 15 reps for four sets. When doing this exercise, start with your feet about shoulder width apart and toes forward. You're welcome to experiment with pointing your toes out or pointing your toes in as you notice it will hit different parts of your calves. Most women are so focused on wanting to build their glutes that they kind of forget to work out their calves, but it's nice to have a good balance in your legs. I recommend doing this workout one to two times per week depending on how well your body is recovering and what your goals are. If you really want to focus on shaping and leaning out your legs, do this exercise more often. If you have any questions for me about this workout, you can find me on Instagram at fitamysuzanne or on my website fitamysuzanne.com. For more free videos and articles from athletes like me, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com. Click and subscribe.